Hello and welcome back to Rule of Rose. This is part six. How was it, Jennifer? Do you remember now? Hmm, I see you remember the second one. But that's not all of it. You really are a silly girl. Hurry, hurry, read another story, Jennifer. Jennifer found Mermaid Princess. Mermaid Princess. A long, long time ago, the Mermaid Princess fell in love with a human prince. But for years, her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit. All alone, even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the Sea Kingdom, who'd ever want to become an ugly woman like her. August 1930, Mermaid Princess. When the unlucky girl closed the storybook, the strong-willed princess was there in the room and said sourly, <gasps> Rats, the fish is gone. Mr. Hoffman will be furious. You should be looking for your own precious thing. There's nothing inside. No way, there's no such thing. This month's gift, an unmarried mermaid. The cold princess and the wise-looking princess were talking. The unlucky girl quietly listened in. Diana was quite upset. Don't you think that was too much? We had to do it. Besides, there's no such thing as mermaids. Don't you agree, Meg? You're right. That was the only thing we could do. Then, the wise-looking princess asked, How about you, Jennifer? Do you believe in mermaids? The cold princess said, 
They're such beautiful and pure creatures. You're looking for a mermaid too, aren't you? You better hurry. Diana might find it before you. Jennifer found fish scale. It's a fish scale, shiny and blue. So this airship feels pretty big once you've traversed through it a couple times. There's actually a whole bunch of footage that I cut out of this video. I um, went looking for shortbreads and scones and candy, all kinds of health items that would help me in any upcoming fights, but I didn't think that was particularly interesting to watch. So. This doesn't look kosher. Play bottom of the sea. I have no idea what that's for. Now I have under the sea in my head. And now you probably do too, so I apologize for that. <laughs> Jennifer found a meat cleaver. Jennifer found a fish head. It's a fish head that's been chopped off its body.
fish has got to be this way. I just know it. Looks like there's fish swimming around in the airship. a lot of imps. Mm. Flopping around like fish. It's really reinforces that I think this game would be a much stronger game without combat. Um, none of the mechanics are done particularly well. I know that sometimes the point in these survival horror games where you're playing a character who's, you know, no Rambo, and it should be difficult to um, engage in combat, but this game I think is just poor mechanics as opposed to something that's supposed to add to the atmosphere. I can't really even see what's going on here. I should probably just run away. Have a little bit of healing beforehand so I don't die in this corridor. says that this is the mermaid room. Let's see if we can find one. So I actually had looked up this boss fight uh, before I got to it. After how long and difficult and terrible that first boss fight was, um, I wanted to see what I had to look forward to. And this seems to be uh, considered the worst one of all, so... Ah, a marble. That will help me. 
So this boss looks a lot like one of the girls in the game. I don't remember her name right now, but looks like she's tied to the ceiling by her feet. She keeps dropping down and flailing around and vomiting, which is pleasant. Seems the thing to do is not get landed on and hit her before she has a chance to do one of her attacks. I'm just gonna heal a little bit here. Range on this knife isn't very good, but I think it's stronger than the um, the steel pipe. So I'm gonna keep using this one. Also, it seems like my dog isn't gonna be able to help me too much in this, since the boss isn't on the ground. I'm just gonna try and keep him out of the way so he doesn't get hurt. She knocked me out of the vomit pile. Thank you. Heal up a little bit more. Close to dead. So this fight is supposed to be worse, but so far at least I'm finding it less frustrating than that first one. At least here, I am actually hitting her when it looks like I should be hitting her. I remember back on that first guy, I was swinging right through him and it just wasn't connecting at all. So for this, it's just really a matter of getting where you need to be fast enough and taking a few hits, or giving a few hits rather. Maybe taking them too. I'm certainly glad that I spent time this chapter going and finding lots of food items, because I certainly needed them. She's getting close to dead. I know I've been playing it a little bit cautiously, but this is not a short fight. It seems a lot longer than it is, too. This is actually my second go at this fight. Uh, the first time I 
died. I didn't have very many um, food items or anything with me, and unfortunately there wasn't any save points directly on the path beforehand, so I've actually played through this entire chapter twice. Um, so yeah, that was, that was annoying too. I, uh, the save points are certainly sparse. What in blazes? Just who did this? Who made this mess? Was it you? Go on, tell me. Answer me, Diana. No new mummy or daddy would ever want you if you don't like that. And now, now, I won't be angry. Just answer me. It was you, wasn't it? You were in charge after all. Oh, well, that was disturbing. Yuck! How disgusting! I see. It was you. It was your fault that I got into trouble. Give it here. Oh my, I see a stain. I've got to clean it up, or Mr. Hoffman will be angry with me. Mermaid doll, a slip of paper is peeking out of its tummy. I am yours, even in death. Mermaid princess. A long, long time ago, the mermaid princess fell in love with a human prince. But for years, her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit, all alone, even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the Sea Kingdom, who'd ever want to become an ugly woman like her. I am yours, even in death. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend. So she wrote it down on the chalkboard so she would never forget it ever again. I am yours.
All right, that's the end of chapter six. I hope you'll join me next time when I play chapter seven of Rule of Rose. I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.